of the hill here, we gained quite a bit of elevation. As you can see, we're ridge line here, we're probably on the highest mountain in the Yukon. But the uh, visibility is really poor. It's coming sporadically where we're able to glass down. This pole that we're looking at is caught a lot of good sign. <laughs> big day, big day. Lots of glassing, covered a lot of ground. Saw some beautiful country. No rams, but we did find some fresh sign. Did hear some noises. Could still be some hope. Yeah, and right. a few caribou too. Definitely, yeah. Good job with the glass. And then, well, let's get down and uh, get some food. Warm up. Right on. After dropping our elevation, we head back to camp. On our way, we stumble across a water source and take advantage of that opportunity to set ourselves up for a big few days ahead. I think we've looked at every nook and cranny multiple times over in this area. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like we've given these a couple of days of hard glassing. I kind of like to bump over there. I think that's it's a good day. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. A few more days left. Try and make the best of them. It's hard glassing. Yeah, man. We'll keep doing it. All right, um, yeah, let's pack it up. Let's do that. <laughs> Man, that was a grind. That yeah. Was an absolute grind. Hopefully this little valley gives us a spot here. Yeah, this looks good. There we go. Tucked away, but yeah. A short trot to good view. Yeah. Oh, right here looks good, eh? Yeah, a little flat there. Okay, well let's set up camp and get ourselves some food. Sounds Rehydrate, good. refuel. Get a little bit of a little bit of glassing. A little bit of glassing in before the light. Yep. Before we lose it. Yep. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Let's do it.
Okay, so we got our eyes back on a band of rams. Uh, one of them looks good, but uh, it, it's going to require us to get a lot closer to it than than where we are and where we have been previously. So um, the clock is ticking. Uh, tomorrow morning we're going to get up dark and early and start making a push. Yeah, I think it looks good from where we are. I definitely think that's uh, it's a great possibility that could be the hunt. So. Uh, get on them early in the morning and make our final assessment when we're, you know, within a couple hundred yards. Yeah, hopefully they bed down there for the night right where they are. It's late into the evening, so uh, it's a good possibility, if not right there, somewhere close. And that'll set us up for a really good opportunity to be successful tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, close enough for archery if, um, if he's a good rib. It's uh, one of our last days of the hunt here. We're just packing up camp. Uh, we're just gonna pop over this edge here as soon as we're done and check to see if they're still there. We got a big day ahead of us. We gotta drop into a valley, come all the way back up almost to the same elevation we are now uh, in anticipation that they're either right on the ridge line on our side or right on the ridge line on the other side. So fingers crossed they're there and we get good eyes on a ram that's legal. Uh, and we could be successful on a hunt probably in a couple hours. So the stoke is high right now. elevation gained well three quarters of it back but we got to gain another pile so horse is just gonna go and find a bit of a route here to see if we can uh, stay on this kind of ridge line and spine and, and head up and hopefully the sheep are still there we saw them bedded in the exact same spot that we left them last night there's no reason for them to move uh, we were out of sight all morning, um, up early, so we're doing everything right. Uh, we're just going to make sure the wind is not at our backs, and we should be able to get pretty close to these guys, so it's exciting. I think. Definitely made better decisions, but uh, this is where we are now. And the only way to go is up, because it'll be really difficult uh, to, to go down. So we're just slowly picking our way up. I 
I didn't think uh, rock climbing was in the job description, but it is today. As we approached the summit, we expected the ramps to be out of sight with lots of distance to prepare for the final stalk. We walked the ridge line, exposing ourselves to the rams, not knowing that they had moved closer to us. When we came across the rams, they were already aware of our location, leaving us with a low probability and high risk shooting opportunity. We decided it wasn't an ethical shot and stood down as the rams put a few miles between themselves. I got him in the scope and then was just kind of waiting a little bit. As you can see, we're not up here with a ram. The search continues as we are kind of climbing up the ridge line. In anticipation, we thought they were going to kind of be over in this area here, but as we were walking up the ridge line, we were kind of doing this, they were down a little bit. So, a little bit of a, a rookie move on our part. We were walking the ridge line and not necessarily all fit. And we looked down, and, and they're there at 197 yards. But it was pretty steep. And, we want to really make sure that this guy is what we want to take. So uh, we only had about 10 seconds to set everything up before uh, before they, they got out of sight and kind of worked their way over this way here. So. From there, we decided that that was the end of our hunt. We made a steep descent off the back of the mountain with storms approaching from the west, getting ourselves back to a sheltered area to spend the night. Honestly, great trip. It was a beautiful area. It did work out. We hoped there were rams there, and there were, and we found them, and we got on them, and we got on a stock. You had one in your sights in 200 yards, legal ram, but you opted out because it wasn't uh, wasn't quite what you wanted. And I really respect that. It's hard to go home empty-handed, but I think you made the right call, and uh, we got lots of hunting to look forward to. With San, I just want that one to be to be special. That one's a special one for me. I want it to get. I want to get within bull range and. Uh, and make it happen that way. Um, but man, was there ever a lot of animals? Oh yeah, no, there's a lot, a lot happening in those mountains. It's some pretty cool. Big caribou, some big moose, tons of stone sheep. Unbelievable. Yeah, beautiful mountains, scenery was great. It's just a special spot, man. Holy man, was it hot on the way in. And cold on the way out. We <laughs> just couldn't get it right. It was just one of two extremes. You're gonna be so uncomfortably hot or so uncomfortably cold and wet. You couldn't have, couldn't have a happy medium. Yeah. So now on to next week. Yeah. That's going to be exciting. Really exciting. We're on to another doll sheep hunt. It's going to be great. Um, know the area fairly well. There's good access points. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and go get you a, a ram as well. No. I'm excited, man. Yeah. That'd be good. We'll go, well, let's get home, recuperate for a few days. Do it all over again. Oh, I'm excited now. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs>
I don't even know who has the ability to pull us out of here. Like this is, this is a bad day. Yeah. The risk of this is that if I get my front tires up and my back tires don't clear this turn and get up through this, my back tire is probably gonna fall into it, which may roll the truck. If it doesn't, then I'm in this like, I mean, this is thigh deep for the next 45 feet. So you're not gonna be able to get this truck out, which is a problem for us. Bo, what do you think of uh, Mark's choice in footwear? Well, it's clearly CSA certified, work appropriate. They're safe, they're waterproof, they're stylish, they bring it all, they do it all. What, what can't you say? It's amazing. Yes, prototype to activate. Finally, we're getting out of here. It's gonna be great. Oh, did you hear that? That was like nails on a chalkboard, but it was the side of my truck. I swear he's just putting me in the trees for kicks. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. Oh! That guy came out of nowhere. Ultimately, it was a great hunt, and we learned a lot about the new area that we have never explored. For me, it was a new species of sheep. We ended up seeing lots of caribou, moose, and even had a close encounter with a grizzly bear. We got lucky and stumbled across a game trail which made for easy travel from one range to another. Multiple creek crossings and big gains in elevation made for a difficult hike in. We came across a small band of rams with the lead ram just passing the legal requirement in the Yukon. It appeared to only be about seven to eight years old and it just didn't have the mass that we were looking for. Just because we were unsuccessful in taking an animal doesn't mean it wasn't a successful hunt. The places that hunting takes you are such a big part of why hunters do this. We really enjoyed exploring this new country and the challenges it threw at us. <laughs>